I'm on a mission to make the world's smallest Funko Pop. Now most Funkos are somewhere around 4 inches or 10 centimeters tall. They do make smaller ones, usually in the form of keychains or pens that are 1 to 1 and a half inches tall, but today I'm going to make some Funkos that are way smaller. To begin the process, I'll need to get a 3D model of these Funko Pops, and for that I'll be using a 3D scanner. This one is called the Revapoint Mini. If you want more information about this device, check out this video on my channel where I go into more detail about it. Now before scanning the figures, I like to cover them with a temporary scanning spray, which helps the scanner do a better job of capturing the details. Don't worry, the spray evaporates after a few hours, so it won't permanently change the color of your Funkos. I placed the figure on the turntable, and then I began the scanning process. After a few minutes, I ended up with these 3D models, which looked pretty good, so next it was time to 3D print them. Now I have two different types of 3D printers, an FDM printer and a resin printer. The FDM printer uses plastic filament, and it works well for printing larger objects, but when you start printing small things, it doesn't really generate all the little details. These Funkos are pretty small, but I want to go even smaller, so we're going to use my other 3D printer, which uses resin to create 3D prints. These bottles of resin were provided by today's sponsor, Resins3D.com. They've got a variety of resins on their website with different properties. Some of them are flexible, some of them change color under different temperatures. But today, we're going to go with the frozen water washable resin. This resin simplifies the cleaning process because after your models have been printed and it's time to wash them, you can just use water instead of other substances like isopropyl alcohol. For more information about this resin and other 3D printing products, check out resins3d.com. So I cleaned and cured my tiny little Funkos and this is what they look like. Now I just needed to paint them. I applied a thin layer of primer and then began painting them with some acrylic paint. Now it takes a bit of time for the paint to dry, so while that was taking place, I started to make some miniature boxes to go along with the mini Funkos. I quickly took photos of each side of the box, and then imported the images into Photoshop to create a printable template. I then printed the template onto satin photo paper, but you could also use matte photo paper if you prefer, and then I cut it out. In order to make the clear window for the front of the box, I cut up some scrap plastic packaging from an old toy, and then I glued it to the box. Finally, I folded everything together. And now we have the finished mini Funkos alongside some mini boxes. I've got a couple of different sizes. These ones over here are just over half an inch tall or about one and a quarter centimeters tall. But for this last one, I wanted to push things and see just how small I could shrink something. And it ended up being around a quarter of an inch or about six millimeters tall. When things are this small, it's really difficult to paint them with uh, any kind of accuracy, but I tried my best and I think it turned out pretty well. So what do you think? Is this the smallest Funko Pop in the world? Let me know what kinds of objects I should shrink next, and thanks for watching.